What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video and today we're going to be designing the Kovacic poster that I made a couple of weeks ago. Not even a couple of weeks ago, I don't know what I'm on about. Probably last week even for my um, my challenge that I'm doing. So basically we're doing a 365 days challenge where we post a new poster every day on the Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, definitely go check that out. Um, you know, we've had some amazing feedback so far and you guys really like this poster. So that's why I'm bringing it to you. Now, uh, it's literally very basic. There's two images and a bit of texture to put on and then a camera or filter and that's it. So I thought we'd go back to something a little bit more traditional. Obviously the last video we did a 3D text effect. Today we're going to do a normal poster so hopefully you guys are looking forward to that if you are hit that like button and let's get straight into the video so guys first things first download your texture pack and you'll be presented with this so you'll have your texture which is in here and then you'll have your images which is in here now they're all in position so basically you can drag and drop them across into your document but for now we're going to make a new document this document is going to be called wow well, not going to be called anything unless you want to name it um but it's going to be the size is going to be 2160 by 2700 so we're going to do that and then just click create so that's our document done now so we're going to start building up the background now so what we're going to do is we're going to create two solid colors so one's going to just be a normal dark blue which is going to sort of sort of be like the dark colors in the chelsea kit so we're going to do that now so this is going to be 000 e22 so once you've got that color we're going to make another color and this one is going to be um it's going to be a little bit lighter so we're going to go down here and we're just going to select this color here so this color is going to be 002251 and then what we're going to do is hide this so if you go to your mask and hit command i or control i if you're on the windows do that and then it's hidden so then we're going to get our brush tool now you want to get a soft brush and you want to make this fairly small to begin with and we're just going to set this at 20 percent opacity and we're just going to go and find the middle so if we want to do some guides we're just going to drag these guides on so we'll be able to oh no not that one let's drag it into the center it should lock in so we can sort of see where we're working so we're going to find the center and we're just going to start making a nice little bit of highlight so you want to make it bigger as you go along but you want to make it so it like comes from the center like that so that's really nice and um, again we can make it a little bit bigger perfect so now i've got a nice little gradient background so what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to our texture pack and we're going to go get some images so we've got three images the first one's going to be the stadium now we're going to drag and drop this in to our document and we're going to make sure that it fits the whole screen make sure it's center aligned as well so that's good and we're going to make sure that it's about 30 percent opacity and we're just going to reduce this to a soft light you don't really need to worry about this because it's going, most of it's going to be covered by the um, the texture that we're going to be adding but it's just a nice little extra element to enhance the background so we've got that so now what we're going to do is probably going to start working on a bit of texture so in this pack i've got three textures now the two grain textures are going to be on the top the one we really want to focus on is this yellow texture right here now if i drag and drop this across you can see we've got a nice sort of texture effect going on something really different and unique which is the main aim of this so as you can see i've masked it out using a brush so i'm not going to show you how i did this i just want to use the texture so got a brush basically just painted out bits in black and white so i got this texture and then I changed it to linear dodge. So what it normally is, is that. So I changed it to linear dodge to make it sort of look like it's glowing on the background and reduced it to about 80% opacity. Now the next thing that I did with this is I basically duplicated this six times using the same settings to make sure it looked like it glowed. So if I do this now, if I'm gonna duplicate this six times, command J, so that's once, and again, and again, and again, and again. So. Obviously, obviously this looks like a lot and looks very bright. So what I am going to do is I'm going to just sort of reduce the opacity on the ones that we duplicated. So if we drop this down to about 30%, that's perfect. So you've got this nice little glowing effect, but you've also got the background of the stadium. So you're not really getting overpowered or anything. And once you have the images, it won't sort of take the main focus. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to change the color of this a little bit. So it's a little bit more orange. So we're going to group these together. So that's going to be called yellow texture. Once you've named that, you can clip and mask a hue and saturation to this. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go down and we're literally just going to just move that down a little bit so it's more orange and then boost saturation up. That's literally all we're going to do. So that's fine. Now we've got this orange background. What we're going to do is go back into the texture pack and we're going to get the images. So let's drag and drop both images in. Pretty simple. Um, now I haven't edited them at all. Well, I've edited them a little bit, but this is sort of how they came. Really nice images looking really good and what i did was i layer masked this one out so that he wasn't so sharp obviously like he's just been stuck on the top so we're going to get a layer mask for that 
get a soft brush, make it obviously smaller, and probably uh, increase the opacity to 100%. And what we're going to do is just, just going to start painting away, you know, bits of his arm, just so he's in the background. Because obviously that that already just looks 10 times better than what it did before. So it's already faded in. We this is you know good to see. Uh, we like that. Um, and now we're going to start adding some foot shadows for this one. So I want this one quite big as well. Um, so we're going to add a new layer below him. And we're going to sort of make a brush, which is probably like this size. So it'll start off like that. I'm going to pull these in and make it thin. And then we're going to get a black color, reduce our opacity on our brush to 20%. And then we're going to go in and we're going to start painting some foot shadows. Now make these quite small so that you obviously get a nice little close up shadow to his foot. And then once you make the close up one, you can obviously make it bigger and make it a little bit more, you know, gradual, I guess I should say, because obviously you've got your gradual shadows. But then you obviously make it bigger because obviously he is quite big himself. So you don't want the shadow just around um, just to be quite light around his feet. You want it really dark at the bottom, like the center of his feet, like here, like right around the bottom, but then gradual as you go away from it. So that's nice. It's not he's not floating no more. And we're just going to change that to multiply as well. So now if I zoom in again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same for the ball. But as you can see, if you look closely on the ball, it's got a little bit of green on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a new layer above the player clipping mask it to it change this to multiply as well and we're just going to start to paint a black layer along the bottom of the ball so this sort of makes it fade in a little bit better and it just basically gets rid of that bit of grass and now as you can see it's not too glaring or standing out it just looks normal so that's all we need to do for that so now that we've done that guys basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a couple of effects to the players and then we're going to add a uh, some more texture and then that's all we need to do. So, you know, we always like a simple design over here. So, um, yeah, hope you're enjoying so far. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add some color effects to their eyes and teeth. So we're going to go for a curves, just clip and mask that to him, increase that. And we're just going to go command I or control I if you're on Windows to uh, invert the mask. And we're just going to start painting where it um, where his teeth are and his eyes are. So by doing this, as you'll see in a minute, it'll make it look really white and just make it look 10 times better than it did already did before. So you want to increase the opacity and we're just going to start painting in where we think his eyes are. You can go uh, quite slowly with this if you want to get it really accurate, but I'm going to do it quite quick because I already have done this before. So I'm just going to show you the technique. Um, so you want to go around his teeth like this, each tooth. There we go. It's really nice. Then go inside his teeth as well if you want. Um, if you want to make it even better and then we're going to go along the bottom layer make sure you don't get it on his skin otherwise it will make his skin go black and white in a minute so now that we've got that that's really nice so what we're going to do now is we're going to add a hue and saturation do the same thing again clip and mask it to it reduce the saturation to zero and then we're going to hold um, alt and then we're going to drag this layer mask onto the saturation one so it masks out the exact thing that we've done with the curves. So as you can see his eyes have gone black but we want some of the colour still to come through so we're going to just paint back in where his actual eyeball is. So that's good. Same again here because we don't want to get rid of his whole eyeball. We just want to get rid of most of it. So if you zoom out now you can see that looks way better. His teeth look better, his eyes look more dominant in the design and it just looks 10 times better generally. So I would do the same again for the uh, for the running image. So I would just literally copy and paste, invert the mask and just repaint them on because obviously his eyeballs are quite big. They are quite prominent in this design and you want them to look, you know, really good. By using this technique, it will just make them look 10 times better than they did before. So same again, just gonna do this quickly so I don't bore you guys. There we go, his eyes are back in. Now if we zoom out, as you can see, it just looks 10 times better, doesn't it? That's pretty much all you need to do for the eyes, guys. Now we're going to add some highlights, I think. So if I, I'm just going to convert these images to a smart object so I don't have loads of layers. Same again with this one. Now we've got that. That's really good. So, guys, just to interrupt the video right now, I'm going to just show you a short clip of the Discord, um, you know, Discord community that we have going. So I'll show you a little bit of video on the screen right now. So I'll go through what we're doing. So we've got new design sections. Obviously, this is where we post new designs every day. Um, and we sort of just talk about what we're doing, you know, give tips and improvements um, if you need it. And yeah, or you can just showcase your work. So we have loads of different sections. We have social media. We have, you know, new designs, we have design suggestions, tutorials, and we have the main one, which is design of the week. So this is where you can put your uh, design each weekend and maybe win a prize. 
If you do, you get your name highlighted and you get put in a different group to everyone else so it sort of shows that you have won it. So hopefully that's something you're interested in. If you are interested in this, there is a link down below so you can join the community and you know, there's about 100 of us in there right now. So hopefully you guys do join and get straight into there and start putting your designs in. That would be great. So I hope to see you guys over there. Without further ado, let's get back to the video. So back to the video guys. Now we're going to add some simple highlights. So. What we're going to do is we're going to go to our small image here. We're going to add a hue and saturation around him, and we're just going to go colorize. So we want to clip and mask it to him as well, so it's just him. Now we're going to boost saturation a little bit and change this to the color of the background. So something like that, that's good. Boost the lightness as well, saturation, that's good. And now what we can do is use blend if to sort of make sure we bring out the shadows as well. So double click on the layer and then you'll get this option. Hold Alt and pull this arrow and it'll split it so you can get a nice little half tone I guess you could say and then what we're going to do is go command I or control I if you're on a windows and just start painting our um, our highlights now you don't need to go too too uh, uh, like pressurized on this so bring it down to about 20% and you can just start painting in your shadows uh, your highlights sorry around the kit now I'm going to do this quite quickly but just so you have an idea you just go around the edges and sort of just show off the bits that are going to be hit by the light that are going to be glowing potentially and by doing this um, it will just give your designer an extra element which you know most designers don't really think of so adding highlights really does you know blend the uh, colors better with the design shall I say so it just makes them look a little bit more realistic really um, instead of just floating uh, on top of like a load of color and um, that's one way to put it I guess so as you can see I'm doing this really rough but I'm going around all the edges the bits which are getting highlights and which are going to be hit by the light in general so that's why I've done it same again with the neck let's go with the hair hair is always a good one to get because that is always going to be hit by light and it's got the most color coming off it so that's good um, there we go perfect like so perfect right so it's a really really rough quick go round but in general You'll be able to see this when the camera or filter is added and it will just sort of show that the light's coming in a lot more in general along the kit. So we're going to reduce the opacity about that to about 80 and we're going to duplicate this and do the same on the, uh, the big image. Now the big image is the one where you're going to notice it a bit more so you can go around the edges just sort of quickly um, add that, that, that camera raw. And obviously it's a little bit easier with the bigger image because you can see where the highlights are. It's always harder when you can't actually see where the highlights are. So you've got to sort of make a judgment yourself. So I'm just going to sort of paint away as I go. So something like that's nice. Right around the edges. Make sure you get it on the kit where the highlights are. Down the kit like here. Around the edges. It's important to go around the edges. Otherwise, because that's the main rim light. And obviously on the arm. So that's looking really nice so far. I'm really happy with that. I'm going to make sure it comes down a little bit more over here. Same here. Perfect. Okay. So now we've added our highlights. Now I know I did that quite quickly, but you know, in general, it, you know, you can take your time with it, but I've done it before. So I'm just going to quickly show you it. So I'm not, you know, wasting your time. So we've got the highlights done. That's perfect. We've done the shadows and everything. So we don't need to worry about that. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a glow. So we've got a solid color we're going to add, and this is going to be the same color, uh, probably probably an or a orangey yellow like that. I'm going to change this to linear dodge add, and then invert this mask. And what we're going to do now is get our soft brush, 20% still on the opacity. We're just going to start painting a glow. So the glow is going to make sure the highlights look even better. So that's pretty much all you need to know about that. Um, but it's going to make sure that it's actually, you know, going on top. If you can see what I mean. Okay guys, so once you've added the glow, what you need to do is make sure that it covers most of the design and that's about it. So now we're going to add the texture. So go back to your texture pack, you're going to open this up, turn those off and get your textures. So these are two grains, just going to add these over the top and they'll be fine. So we'll do that now. So make sure you position them across the middle of the design and change them both to soft light and reduce them down to 20%. Nice little grain on the design if you zoom in, you can see that it's added over the top here. It just looks really nice, really refreshing. So now that we've got that, what we're gonna do is add our camera or filter. So hopefully you're enjoying so far and learning, but you know, it's very simple design. I just wanted to give you something simple to go at and it's a nice little bit of texture for you to, you know, learn and stuff. So let's get straight into the camera or filter. Obviously to open the camera or filter, you need to make a screenshot. So command shift option E, make a screenshot, convert that to a smart object 
and then you're going to go camera filter. So now you've added a camera filter, you're going to go to basic, hit that to contrast up, then we're going to go highlights boost that, shadows decrease that, saturation definitely boost that one up, clarity definitely, texture definitely, boost these up, black you can definitely bring down a little bit, dehaze probably up a little bit just so it sort of doesn't make the highlights too strong in the design, curve you're going to bring this up a little bit, then reduce it down a little bit, detail sharpening probably going to boost that up to 30, noise reduction about 10, then the colour mixer guys you want to focus on this one so we're going to move the uh, yellow slider to orange a little bit more, same with, same with this one here, make it a little bit more orange so it looks just a little bit more richer on the design so that's good. Um, high, mid tones you don't need to worry about the colour grading, effects we're going to add this to about 25 and then a nice vignette in the corners. So hopefully that looks pretty good, definitely does. Perfect. Click OK. Perfect. That looks really nice. Look at the texture on it. It looks great. The glow's great. The highlights look better when she uses the camera filter, obviously, because it makes it just all a lot in more intense. So hopefully you've learned something from that. Obviously, um, this is a very simple video, guys, and obviously I know you guys enjoy stuff like this. So if you want me to do more of it in the future, let me know in the comments down below, and obviously I'll get straight on it. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you in the next video, you know. Uh, we should have some more posts like this. We're going to do more Instagram redesigns and everything. So make sure you follow on the Instagram and the Twitter. And, you know, keep keep uh, involved with everything. So hopefully you have enjoyed the video, guys. I'm going to go now. So obviously I'll see you in the next video.